That's crazy. Look at how this what we skate difference. This is the spot. This is so sick. I don't even know. Nora, this... Nora asked. I said yes. <laughs> I asked, <laughs> I received. <laughs> I just said, Alexis, draw me something. And I was like, yeah, I don't think we ever, I was just like, draw whatever you want. Yeah, and I was just locked in my house in the pandemic in my pajamas. I wasn't, I was in Maui on the beach. Just <laughs> and honestly, I just, drew the first thing that popped into my head and worked worked off that. <laughs> I originally thought it was just a wheel, but then suddenly Alex was slipping in like, oh, and the, the, the grip tape and the truck, which actually helped me because... The mini fridge. <laughs> it gave me a little more structure because suddenly, you know, I started with the bunny and obviously the bunny should be coming out of a hat and there's this magician and they were like dueling magicians and then kind of like continued the story into the other, into the grip tape and the truck. And... Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Uh -oh. That's how it happened. <laughs> That's how it happened. <laughs> um, I think as a pro skater, like having a say in graphics and stuff is super important because I think it's expressive of who you are and I think typically people want to, when people want to support you and like your products, like make it interesting, make it like a rad thing. But that's kind of also part of like, I feel like I can draw my own things and it always kind of comes out the same. So it's much more fun to have friends and people that you admire doing it. Like, like I get stoked on kind of collab stuff. So yeah. Yeah, I... Gets me out of my color scheme. I feel like when I draw stuff, it comes out all different every time, but I've definitely like gone through periods where I do all my graphics, and that's like fun because it's my graphic, and it's like kind of a dream, but now, like with Alzheimer's, it's kind of nice because it's like the opposite. Like they'll show me something, and I'm like, whoa, that, that came from some other brain. Like that's so, I didn't, wouldn't have thought of that. And I still have input, and that's cool, but it's nice to just be like surprised, which is I guess the same as like a, collaboration and like with someone you trust as long as you have like say and then mm -hmm. it's cool to see what other people come up with I think artistically you're more versatile like I think you do more you have a more like varied ability which is rad because there's graphics I've seen you do that I'm like wait I didn't even know you drew that kind of deal yeah which is awesome yeah, I, all your draw, all your drawings is like, oh, that's Norris. Yeah, exactly. Which is cool. In a it is, way. but I like part of me too is like, I'd like to branch out a little more. I mean, you also draw like a lot. I mean, a lot of your drawings are like a can, you have like a character you draw a lot. I don't yeah. know if it's one, but it's like I don't know what it is. It's like a family of characters. Yeah. that's why I see it. The leaf characters. They're just my little guys. Yeah. Um, guys. I would like to try to diversify my art more just because I feel like I don't always challenge myself. And then I get disappointed like a year later when I'm like, mm. really? That's like all I could come up with? Yeah. Really? <laughs> hey, so, yeah, so, okay, so the way that you have is like... She always brings the entertainment. Which I don't. I just usually sit there and don't say anything. So I think it's a good balance. Very original, very funny. We're from the East Coast. We skate. 
the exact same. So, so. yeah, we skate the same exact stuff. same style. And Equal ability I level. thrive on transition. Thrive. Huge, huge. Air. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we're doing our best. Um, what I like about Nora is... What I like about Nora is that we skate just the same. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't like about Nora is... <laughs> that she shows me too many videos on her phone. I feel like I'm gonna explode. <laughs> we met in LA. I think so, but I don't even remember. At Stoner? It was when you were trying to like front blunt slide Stoner. Just the whole park? <laughs> Oh, that little, the hubba there. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. You were getting, like, you were going for it. And I was That's... like, what are we doing here? This is not <laughs> Everyone else was having just a fun little... I, I forget what we were doing. Were we, were we going to the barracks for some? Were we, like, doing something weird? I think we were just... We I feel like we were just hanging out. Like, Lisa was maybe okay, there. Okay, okay. I think it Mimi, was Lisa, Leo, Leo, Mia, Mimi, Mia. Maybe Samari. <laughs> I don't know. It was like Samari the, was there. It was yeah, that the, was gnarly. The crew. You were, like, you were doing it. I was yeah, like, Yeah, I think wow, that's the first time I met that's you. That's Alexis Sablone. Yeah. I feel like we grew up skating completely different things. And yes. that's just like how we skate in general. Like the things I want to skate are not the things that Alexis wants to skate and vice versa, which is like interesting because I grew up, I feel like it makes more sense. Skating rye? Yeah, I feel like it makes more sense for me because I just grew up skating skate parks. I mean, it... It's just funny how, like, you figured I mean, it out. I really would have benefited from skating rock because I can't, Not to this I day, yes, do and no. a goddamn thing on our, on, once I hit the coping. Yeah, I can, like, grind and come back in, maybe. But, it's but like everyone's just a product of, like, what they grew up skating. Like, I grew up skating first, like, you know, flat ground in my garage. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, That's you crazy. know, parking lots behind the the Walmart and the train station. I would like build boxes and drive See, I didn't out. like skating in front of people. So like- I didn't either. I didn't like, I didn't have a garage. Okay. So that's why I can't skate flat ground. But you were at a skate park, so there were people. Oh, but there were yeah, people but, that were skaters, so they knew skating. And it was like a ton of transition kids that just were like padded up skating vert ramps. So I was yeah, like, yeah. this like, is sick. <laughs> and like, it's also like this like weird thing that like vert kids do where you're like, you think you're better than everybody else because you can like skate over a ramp mm. and like everyone in the park is like, wow, that's so cool. But then like outside of like the one skate park, you're like, people are like, suck ass. You can't do anything. <laughs> like can't even like do anything on flat ground. Yeah, I usually, the extent of my like, I skated half pipes like loading docks. Which I love. I just try to heel flip off the edge <laughs> every time. <laughs> it's just heel flip off the deck, later kick flip off the deck, you know. At least, you try. at least you try. You yeah, know. actually, the, there was a half pipe at, because I grew up skating, when I did go to the skate park, there was this place called Eastern Pulse in Milford, Connecticut. It was like an hour from where I grew up, but I would get there on like the weekends yeah. and take a train there or get there however. And it was, the half pipe was like half was submerged. It in concrete? The, no, it was, it was um, not skate light, it was called a Masonite. Masonite. Yeah, it was Mace and I, and it was, I mean, this is, you know, 1997, <laughs> 1997, something like that, I don't know. So it was half so much, so it was like maybe a three or four foot, three foot drop to the, yeah. to the flat, like yeah. from the regular concrete of the skate park. So I would fully just skate it as a, actually a loading dock. You're the kid that would like show up and there's like a giant bowl and it's like an 11 foot bowl and you're just like I'm alling like, oh, into I the- like, oh, I see a <laughs> gap to the, yeah. <laughs> all into the Or no, this one time I skated, it was a king of the road. I guess the first one I was on. Yeah. Which was like the first one ever, you had I think. super short hair. Probably. Yeah, I had buzzed hair for a while. But I don't know if I had that yet. No, I think then it was honestly, it's ridiculous how much it was just like a hat and this this hair. <laughs> the same hair, but it was like 20 years ago. Um, <laughs> so sick. And we went to, I don't know if it was at, no, it wasn't Skatopia, but we did go to Skatopia. But it, there was somewhere where we all ended up in like, Rune was there and like, like all the teams were there and people that like Can skate, skate transi transition. transition and it was something with the big waterfall is that the term yes it was like a smaller bowl into a much bigger bowl yes. and I fully was like oh yeah just drop straight in I'll just like pump right down and like fully just I don't know if I like levitated or what when I tried <laughs> to pump down but I went like 
straight into like the other wall and then was like, mm, okay, like so pull myself out. So somebody at Thrasher has this footage. I will pay large amounts of money for Alexis. Yeah, fly I don't home. know if they filmed that. No one was ready. They were just like the fly just hit a wall. I don't know. Um, I just think it's so interesting because in terms of like being skaters where we grew up, like basically just like cranberry bogs in the woods, like like. I didn't have a garage. I had a barn, but there was like nothing really like it was like wood. It was you could build a little. We had a little thing going yeah. on in there. That was crazy. Yeah. Barn, rock driveway, and like no sidewalk or anything. I had a rock driveway. Yeah, a lot of gravel. Yeah, but I think it's interesting that for people who like also like didn't have skate parks really close to them. No, I mean you figured it out. You were like skating. That was just to see other people that skateboarded. Yeah. That was the main thing. And it was indoor space, but it was like, otherwise I was just skating alone. But we so. grew up like in very similar zones. And I think it's so interesting how completely different our skateboarding is. Yeah. It's like rad. Well, cause we ended up skating. What we skated. I mean, I got into architecture originally because like drawing, I drew, for, I drew, started drawing before I was skateboarding, you know, it's like drawing is kind of like one of my favorite things to do. And so that, I guess, you can apply that in many ways. So it's kind of like drawing graphics or drawing animations or drawing designs. And then like some things are more technical or like different, but, but it's all just drawing kind of. And that's probably, um, yeah, one of the things I enjoy most and like the, a way to, express myself and I think that but drawing graphics kind of it all kind of happened it wasn't really my plan like I when I started skating for weekend they Grant needed like didn't have enough time to do all the animations for a project and I was hurt at the time and I was like oh I'll, I can animate because I love animation and so I like slipped in there and then started doing animations and then we're just doing more and more of them and then ended up taking over doing all the graphics there and stuff and and then, you know, skateboarding's like this big little world. So it, once someone's like, oh yeah, you can do that, wanna do this. And then it just kind of naturally from there, like it, it, it I guess skateboarding gave me a, like multiple oppor like opportunities just pop up to, to work on projects and draw things. And whenever there's an opportunity that sounds fun, I say yes. So that's kind of how it happened. He's over it. He done. He heard another door. He's like, I'm gonna try a better studio. <sighs> respect. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah. But like versatility. Like even like your ability to animate. But I think you have much more of like the mindset. You have this mind that like, you like to challenge yourself artistically. And it's rad because like you do that with animation. You've done that with architecture. Like, I don't know. Like I really admire it just because I'm so, for me, a lot of time drawings is just like a comfort thing. It's like mm. comfort food. Like I'm just eating the same popcorn. Yeah. Versus like, <laughs> there's so much else out there. I don't yeah, know. for me, I guess it's like a, every project, whether it's big or small, is just like, that, like a, a project for me is like a, I don't wanna say world to escape into, but it's something where it's like, you know, 90% of my head is like, thinking about whatever project I'm working on. Yeah, and you're like Even really if it's just driven. like this wheel, it's like for that, those that's rad. two days I was working on that, I was like, you know, that's when you go to sleep, like, okay, what should, like, should I try this? Should I do that until until something clicks and you like it or whatever. Well, like you're the genius and like I'm the basic bitch of like, Okay, you're I'm putting yourself gonna, down. I'm sorry. And you're no, I'm not trying to do that. I'm and sorry. even though you're being really complimentary and nice to me, <laughs> I, I don't want to watch your it. videos. <laughs> I don't want to watch your videos. I just think it's interesting that like, how much we both love art, but even like- It's like our skating, it's like it's the same, but it's, like it's the so same, different. It's like the same, but it's so different. Like it's crazy. <laughs> That's it's gonna be a sound crazy. Just that. <laughs> I'm not gonna know. Yeah, the first time I saw Alexis, it had to have been like um, PJ's movie. And you were a baby, like a literal baby. Not 12 though. How old were you? Like 16. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was like 16. Was that like, changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, because you just sent me up that. In I sent you the hubba. The, and yeah, I the always hubba. thought you were like 13 or 12. No, uh, I think I was like six. Uh, I think I was like 16. You're just tiny. Maybe 15 because I think it came out in 2002. And okay, I don't, don't want to do that. 
Yeah. So basically what I think had happened was I had started figuring out that YouTube was a thing. And was for, it then? Um, no, this was much later. This was like 2008 probably okay. when I found out who you were. Okay, I was like, I don't think. <laughs> no, it was not then. <laughs> and somebody, like, especially being in Massachusetts, somebody had mentioned who you were. I was like, you need to watch this skate video and it's like on YouTube. So watching your part and being like, holy shit, like, like mind blown kind of deal. I think up until that <laughs> time, I had only seen like Alyssa and then like Mimi and CB, all like the bird yeah. skaters. So it was really cool. Cause I was like, oh, she's like my age. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but yeah, so that was amazing. And then um, this was, yeah, like 2008. And then I'd see you in um, X Games stuff. <laughs> all right. Because that's then my that's realm. <laughs> my realm of what skateboarding is is X Games and YouTube, <laughs> and that just yeah. that explains everything. Uh. I don't know about all you fuckers, but I'm sitting in Alexis Sablone's personal studio in Brooklyn, New York, and it's a privilege to be here. <laughs> because no, it's fucking awesome. Like, I don't know. I think that's like that's my favorite even part of skating is just getting to meet people who've inspired you and um, yeah, getting to like have like re like connections and friendships with people, like aside from being someone who admires them, it's, it's super cool. I agree. <laughs> you're so oh, cold. my hand's so cold. Cause Is I, my hand super hot? Well, cause you're toasting in this. Yeah, but. And I'm, I always have cold. I'm usually cold. Oh, I'm always cold. <sighs> yeah. We're always cold too. We're always cold. Circulation. Right now, she's it's a, it's cold. a Massachusetts <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's an East Coast thing. It's East Coast. Fucking New England. New England babies. Look at us. Look at us in the big city. Hey, I have a video I want to show you. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>